Anyway, Mason, Ahsoka, mm-hmm. the TV series. Yes. It's Disney Star Wars' latest Disney Star Wars property. Yes. It's basically Rebel Season 5, five yeah. I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, with some Mandalorian ties and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, what We're do you tying think? together all the action yeah, figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think the story was? Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, here we are. Oh, all right. Let me wind The back. year is five years after Return of the Jedi. The sweet the, spot. Yeah. That's right. The Goldilocks region. Just perfect. Just yep. the perfect place to have some adventures, you know what I mean? I agree. Uh, okay. So uh, Ahsoka's out there and she's trying to find a thing. She's trying to find a big ball. Yeah. And the big ball's got a map in it. What's it going to do? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, the, the map leads going to lead the way to – are we in spoilers? Should we just do spoilers? I think so. All right, yeah. Uh, I guess up top, if you want to watch it or whatever, I thought it was fine. Okay, great. What do you think? I'll leave my opinion. I thought it started pretty dull, and then I thought there were some good moments, but overall I thought it was okay. Well, we have briefly talked about it. I thought it was better than Boba Fett season one or whatever. We talked about, I think, about episode one earlier on. Okay, so so Ahsoka's a... Ahsoka's a... The the premise of Ahsoka. (laughs) Ahsoka was... It's five years after Return of the Jedi. Ahsoka was... Anakin Skywalker's secret apprentice. In a cartoon. In a cartoon <laughs> uh, during the Clone Wars. Yep. But then How uh, many movies is she in? None. No, zero. she was in the first Clone Wars movie, Mason. It she? was animated. Oh, I get it. I see what you're saying. Not a real movie then, is it? <laughs> no, it wasn't a real no. movie. But she's not in, she's not in the, the movie Clone Clone Attacks. Clone Boys. Clone, the big Clone Boys. What? And she's not in Revenge of the Big Clone Boys. <laughs> Um, so she's not in any of those, so she disappeared in between. Anyway, but she's still around five yep. years after Return of the Jedi. Yep. Uh, and she's searching for something, but also all her friends from the previous from show. The cartoon. From the cartoon. They're all around, and they've got different agendas, don't they? Yeah. They've got all sorts of things that they're up to and they want to get. Yep. And, and they're all they're all back together, aren't they? They're all back together. But they're like, I don't know if we can still get along after all the events of the TV show we were in. Yeah. You know? I agree. But maybe we can. Some of which we reference and some we don't. And some is new? Some is new. And some is new. And where's the where's that little guy? He's <laughs> off somewhere, isn't he? Oh, little guy. Where's the bad guy? Oh, Ezra. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's off. Yeah, he's off. Where's Zeb? Which one's Zeb? He was he, he was in the show. He was he showed up recently in So I didn't miss Zeb. No. Okay. He's like a big Oh, the gorilla. big monster guy. Yeah. And everybody assumed because they were like, they must have spent a million dollars on this. Because <laughs> yeah, he's the big purple the, guy. Whatever. Yeah. They, they must have spent a million dollars on that character model, so there's no way he's not going to show up in Ahsoka, which is a spin-off of, yeah. of, of Rebels. There's but no he way. didn't. He's he just didn't. not in it. He wasn't there. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, that's the show, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so Ezra's hidden. Uh, in, in, we talked about the, the, the show, the finale in Caravan of Garbage, but he took Thrawn to an unknown galaxy. That's right. Using uh, thermonuclear light speed uh, whales, space that's whales. Right, space whales, yeah. And yeah. so now Thrawn is missing with his army. The and, evil, the evil General Thrawn. Yes, that's right. And so the uh, Ahsoka's after a map. Yep. Well, the, everybody's after this map. Everyone it's wants in the it. ball. Yeah. And that, that's going to show the location of General Thrawn. And the bad guys want to go to wherever General Thrawn is and get him back and bring him back to the, the where everybody is, all the good stuff is. So they can do another big empire. So they can do a big another empire, and then all the 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 broken apart pieces of the empire will come back, and they'll and they'll defeat the good guys. That's we right. can't let that happen, can nah, we? They'll no. make a big Voltron, a big big, big Voltron, big evil empire. Voltron. And also, what's going on with the Soaker and Sabine? What's going on with those guys? Well, in the cartoon, nothing. But now the one, one wants to be a Jedi or whatever, that's right, or something. And people had a problem with that. Look, I think the lead character, and we talked about this, played mm-hmm. by um, she's taken over from Ashley Eckstein, who voiced the character, mm-hmm. uh, but Rosario Dawson. I think that it's written very flat and blandly, and I think mm. it is this idea of like this character is like moved into stoicism, and I think like the show she does get more interesting in character development. Yeah, but I kind of felt like, and again, I should preface this by saying you've seen most of. Rebels. And- I've seen all of Rebels. Okay. Well, I've seen just the episodes we covered on Caravan of Garbage. Oh, yeah. So I guess my assumption here was that, and in the the original series, she seems to be quite fiery and, yeah. and kind of, you know, full of attitude. I mean, Obi-Wan attitude. is that and then he's not. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. And I guess yeah. my my assumption here was uh, that my assumption. Assumption. Yeah, my assumption was that there was going to be some sort of sort of reckoning between the person she used to be and yeah, the person okay. she has become and somebody be like, hey, you used to be all like this and now you're like this, what happened there? And maybe she'd absolutely crack it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Be like, God dang it. Yeah. You know? But then I remembered that the book of Boba Fett also had a character who used to be a certain way and there was an, and then became, com, became a completely different I think way. he got acid in his brain though. Yeah, and there was never any reckoning for that character <laughs> yeah. either, was there? But it was so the acid. I it would have been the acid, yeah. From the big sand. Leaked in through his, yeah. top of his head his there. Ears. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is interesting the way that she's linked to Anakin. Yeah. I think, I don't know if you didn't see Rebels, I, I, 
think they probably did a pretty good job of keeping people up to speed. I think they did. Like, and I, I mean, here's the thing, though. I think that to me, it feels like a really base principle of Star Wars that sometimes you just get thrown in the middle. Yeah, like that. The whole deal with Star Wars original Star Wars first episode of Star Wars yeah. episode four Star Wars yeah. is that you're just thrown in there in episode four and yeah. you have to go. Okay, well, this. You I know, know technically they were very lame, but later, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, you're in the middle of like a big ongoing yeah. galactic space battle. And you battle. have to figure it out in that way. I mean, the difference is here is that they they have the backstory. They have though, the backstory. You know? And I think there is, seems to be a lot of like, a lot of stuff is sold as a big, oh, here's a big surprise and here's this character you remember and there's like a lot of space left in yeah. for the audience to go, yes. Yeah. But if you don't, but also at the same time, yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I saw a TIE fighter, yeah. Nice. He's got a beard now. Yeah. yeah. But... I also feel like it's unfair that you can go in here and be like, oh, well, I didn't really understand any of these characters. Mm. Because it, like you said, it is season five of this yep, show. Right, They've just yeah. converted it to live action. Go on YouTube and, t- yeah. and go to Star Wars Explained. Alex will tell you all about it. That's exactly about right. It, yeah. You know, it's it, again, I think I've said this before, it'd be like if you jumped in on the Marvel Cinematic Universe at like Age of Ultron or somewhere yeah. in that way and was like, well, I don't, I don't understand. They haven't fully explained all these characters. Well, they did in the previous ones and it's yeah. not for you necessarily. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it is a big ask to watch like all of the Clone Wars mm. and like all of Rebels though at the same time. Yeah. But, it, it, but also like you reward people for. Yeah. For so, I'm, so on the one hand. And it's Dave Filoni's I was whatever, never you know. lost, but I also. Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And I also know that, you know. I guess I would be more rewarded if I'd seen all you the see, previous I, stuff. I did. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm completely no indifferent. Doubt, yeah, right. Honestly, like, uh, I mm. think there was some stuff that I, I did really enjoy. Okay. But like when they're like, look, Anakin Skywalker's here and he's going to take yeah, you through the Clone Wars. And people were like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, whatever. Like, His hair's a slightly different length. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's cool to see Hayden Christensen. I thought the de-aging was great. And he's wearing a suit from Rebels. He's wearing, he's wearing a costume. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> But I know, like, that stuff, though, that doesn't do anything for me. Mm. I think, like, it's all well and good to be like, look at this, remember this. Mm. But for me, I'm like, yeah, but, like, what, what, is, what else? You know, what's new? And the new kind of stuff is the stuff that I enjoyed on, like, yeah, right, new uh-huh. concepts. Mm, Nothing yeah. you can't throw back. Like, that's fine. Sure, of course yeah, you uh-huh, can. And yeah. I don't know that that's not for me, that bit yeah, necessarily, right. you know. So here's some – so Balin. Balin. He's a new guy. Yep. And his apprentice. He's Balin on the Jedi. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, played by Ray Stevenson. Yep. Uh-huh. R.I.P. I thought he was great. I well, think he's good, yeah. Um, yeah he's he, got his own secret agendas. And what is it? Uh, they must have cut some of that out, right? No, I don't know. I don't think yeah. they have. I think they've mystery boxed it. Do you think they re? No, I think I they think know. they full star destroyer full of mystery boxed. Oh if my we can get, if God. we can jump, we'll jump. We'll talk about that later. Do you think they've shot extra stuff they're going to use? Do you think they're going to CGI him, or do you think they should? Oh, re- right. I think they should recast. So I saw yeah. Lee Schreiber. I oh yeah, that okay, would be right. Good. I mean, it's he sucks. doesn't need to do it because he's got Ray Donovan money. That's true. And he's got Ray Donovan. He the got movie Ray money. Donovan's money. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he knew him, but. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, though? Do you think they should recast? If or, they want, or yeah. kill him, like season season two, episode one, a rock falls on him. I mean, I think they. Where is where's his apprentice now? Spoilers. Hidden where's his apprentice? Somewhere is she still on the planet? Yeah, she, she, she goes with the raiders or whatever. Oh, that's right. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll come good or whatever. Yeah. So I think. I mean, they could do a few things. They could recast, or they could just maybe they could have they could open the the, the next season where she goes to his grave maybe and puts the thing on his puts his lightsaber on his grave and it's like oh he died in between seasons because he died doing what he loved he wandering in the wilderness because it turns out there's no food on this planet yeah you know, he died what he doing what he loved looking for a vague thing yeah. he didn't know what it was so <laughs> that's ultimately what did him in that's right he didn't know what just he was wandering for. around <laughs> and then at the end he was like oh I was just looking for a sandwich <laughs> oh I'm so hungry <laughs> I'm so bloody hungry that's what it was how did you feel about the relationship between all the re- returning characters and recurring characters. How did you – I think did, did that work for depending you? Depending on the pairing, I think it – Okay. I thought the uh, Sabine and Ezra stuff was good. Yep. I thought mm. the Ahsoka and Sabine stuff wasn't great. Yeah. But mm. I think – but I do love the concept, and this is something that George Lucas has talked about, that the Jedi monopolized the Force. Right. And he said anybody – like there are people who have an aptitude for it, mm. but anybody can do it if given the training. And I think it was probably a little rushed the way that happened at the end, you know, uh-huh. where it's just kind of like a – You really got to do it She now. really got to do it. <laughs> but I, I do – I love that idea that mm. – fo- and I, this is what I also liked about The Last Jedi uh-huh. is that it's not a legacy. Yes. You, you can do it it's yeah. if, you, if you put the effort to work in. Do you think in. this is a deliberate – 
uh, not a backpedal, but a deliberate course correction from Rise of Skywalker, where it was just you have to you do have it if, to if you're you, the you have to be a Palpatine or a Skywalker. If you're not any yeah, of those, maybe. you can't really use the Force properly. Potentially, mm. but yeah, I, I just that that is the interpretation of the Force that I like. That also, and I feel that way about religion in general. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of it. No, here we go. Here we go. But no, but it's so much of it, and it's not all, but it's most of it is bogged down in institutions. Ran, mm. run by criminals, yeah. right? Mm. And they take faith and community away from people and they, they hold it mm. and they like, kind of monopolize it. Yeah. Whereas that's not what faith or community or religion that's to right. me should be. The church is like, you can't have any of these knives. Yeah. Only we can have the big knives. But I should be able to get a big knife You should knife get a too. knife. Yeah. You should get a knife a big ni- for speak- free. Yeah, free knife. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Speaking of big knives, there's yep. a debut of another big knife in this, isn't there? Oh, the big glowing. A special witch knife. I think it's from another thing. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, what did you think? Because some people would not be on board with this. Yes. What do you think about the weird force magic stuff or whatever? I like it. I like it too. Yeah. There it's was a, from the animated shows. Uh, yeah, so when, when... There was a dead smoker guy early on. Yeah. We were like, who's this guy? He's a when dead smoker. There was a, there was a comic book around the time of the Heir to the Empire stuff, the, yeah. the, the Thrawn trilogy, mm. but it was set thousands of years prior to the, you know, the existing Star yeah, Wars I think universe. I know what talking about. And it was all about, like, pre-Jedi Sith users, and they, it was yeah. all this weird, you know, magic and shape-shifting, and it all yeah. felt very gross and kind of Lovecraftian. Like and and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you vaguely remember that. I, I can't do. remember what it is, but, yeah. Well, yeah, they've adapted... A lot of that kind yeah. of since. And you've, you've, yeah, so it is in Legends. Like we've seen mm. it and we've seen like witchcraft and that show yeah. before. I like the idea that it is it is all the force to some degree. Yeah. That you can shape it in different ways depending on how you learn. What kind to of do powder that. you have? What kind of powder you have? Exactly. What kind of knife you found? That's right. <laughs> yeah. So that, like, and I know. I found this, a big green knife, so I guess I'm a bad guy now. a bad now. guy now. But, like, I know people, you know, uh, might be like, well, it's not as good as the book that did it. But, like, that, like I like the idea of zombie stormtroopers. Well, I don't. And, and I don't necessarily think, like, the execution of that was mm. great. But, like, stormtroopers that you keep killing and they keep getting up. Okay, well, let's talk about I guess, well, look, we've um, we've very handily covered all the characterization. Some of it was good and some of it was bad. Sure. So, the action. Let's talk about the action. Mixed. Yeah, right? Some of very it. Very much uh, so. I think. There's a fight that Ray Stevenson has with, with Ahsoka. Um, Ahsoka. The first one kicks her off a cliff. Yeah, I think that one was good. And you feel like, you feel like his movements, like mm. there was a lot of weight, kind of like he yeah. was almost kind of like using it like a big kind of broadsword, kind of, mm. kind of, because he's a big guy, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there was other bits where they're just waving, waving and wailing. Whatever, and yeah. You know? And I, are you you're right? I mean, there is a. I think it's pro- almost certainly been turned into a gif at this point. Mm. But it's Ahsoka and Ezra and Sabine, and they're all they're all. Deflecting blaster bolts from the from yeah. the stormtroopers and the zombie troopers and what have you. On the one hand, that shot is kind of interesting because Ahsoka and Ezra are like really good at what's yeah. happening, but Sabine's just getting like shots to the <laughs> head, yeah. and like Ezra and Ahsoka are deflecting blaster bolts directly back at the stormtroopers, and Sabine's just like dropping them to the ground because yeah. that's all she can do. And I'm like, that's kind of fun, yeah. but at the same time, that shot is it's just a stationary camera and it's not interesting. Yes, exactly, it's yeah. just kind of. Yeah, here's here's what you want, isn't it? Here's There's the a lot stuff. of like here's a stone room or an open room, and it's got some pillars, and you can fight around it. Yeah, you know, because it's the volume. And yeah, and it and it a lot of the fight sequences I think feel like, and again, it, this is almost like this is such a fine line, and I'm sure it's really difficult to do it on the day. Yeah, a lot of the fight sequences felt just like choreographed to with an inch of their lives mm-hmm, kind of mm-hmm. thing, where it's like, okay, well, there's ten moves. Yeah, we'll practice them all day, and then we'll put it down, and you go, okay, well, this looks exactly like a theatre production. Yeah, like absolutely. Where and, it, it, and I think you're right. It is like lighting and staging, and yeah. the way you cut from just a locked camera, and yeah. then just. And again, I'm sure it is really difficult because nah, it wouldn't be that. Yeah, hard. we'll knock it out on the day. Yeah. It's fine. No, I'd, I'd prepare. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Because it needs to feel like a two people, and they want to get the kill shot, and it's just yeah. them bouncing off one another. But it shouldn't feel like they practice this in advance. Yeah. I also think like. If they're stormtroopers that, are ke- that keep getting up, just be- behead them. Well, yeah. You know? There's a lot of like, and you see this in a lot of the movies as well, it's cutting like against somebody as opposed to like through them. Yeah, right. And I know this isn't that kind of show. No, that's But true, they're zombies, yeah. whatever. The thing about zombie stormtroopers. There we go. And I know that there's been, you know, there was a Legends book that had zombies. A couple of them. Zombie yeah. stormtroopers. It was Han Solo versus zombie stormtroopers, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, then there, and I think there were zombies in Rebels or something, some sort of zombie type creature. Probably, or some, yeah. Something. I can't remember. But it feels like it's a hat on top of a hat, James. Oh, it's because, already a thing. Well, I mean, because stormtroopers are the zombies of the I see. Disney yeah, universe yeah, yeah. because they're. 
They're slow and not particularly good at what they do, mm. and there's essentially an infinite number of them. Hey, you're right, because how much did the dynamic of the fight change when they became zombies? Not at all. Yeah, Because no, right. they were there and they all died and it was like, well, we did that. Boom. Yeah, we did that because there's three Jedi and, and it's really easy to kill stormtroopers at the best of times, yeah, yeah. even if you have no skill at all. Yeah. Uh, and then they just came back up and it's like, how do we defeat these guys? But it's exactly the same as if they were regular stormtroopers and you killed a few, and then just they just kept pouring out of the yes. door. Like, it's the same thing. You're right, yeah. Do you think maybe some masks should come? I mean, we saw that with some of the other ones. Here's what I think, James. Yeah. Here's what I think, James. Like missing limbs and yeah, stuff? Yeah, missing limbs and the, he- the helmet's coming off and what have you, yeah. but that would require, you know, individual makeup and what have you. Mm. A thought that I had, Oh yeah. bearing in mind I know very little about Rebels, but some of the episodes we saw, there were clone troopers, mm. and even though they're all identical, they all had, like, different haircuts and, like, yeah you know, different attitudes and what have you. And and so I'm sure in the series, people got to know and love all the different characters. They love like, Rex. They, they love, love Rex. One. And I love, I love this I guy. I couldn't name two. Yeah, yeah, but these are all my favourites and what have you. Mm. And I know they were in another another galaxy. Yeah. But it's it's witch magic. Wouldn't it have been more impressive if they'd been like, oh, you're pretty good against stormtroopers. We're brought out at this. And then it was like zombie versions of all their friends from the previous Season. Oh, okay, yeah. So maybe it was Captain Rex, and they're like, I don't want to kill Captain Rex. He's my friend or whatever. But I'll do it. I'll but it's not it. really them. It's like a. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, cool. Okay. But first of all, you'd have to get Tamora Morrison to do all the. Or deep yeah. fake him. I don't He'd know. He'd be fine. He'd do it. <laughs> That's right. I think that would have been more interesting. They you want the zombies to have a personality, Mason? Yeah, kind of. Don't you know anything about zombies? I know everything about zombies. Okay, sorry then. Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, if you added any kind of personality, that's not a terrible thing. And that's what I liked about the setup. First of all, I love that that image of Thrawn's ship over the big, like, obelisk kind of thing. And it's, a, thing. it's the old, sto- it's the old uh, yeah. Star Destroyer. And that and all the design on it. And all the armor and helmets have been, like, repaired using that thing they fixed like it's like that japanese repair you break a thing and then you use you like, bought it you, the, you, you break it and you bought it the then, japanese concept yeah. of you break it you bought it where you use like gold or yeah, whatever yeah, to yeah, like yeah, and yeah. it becomes a more i'm gonna look it up thing. and yeah. you're gonna love it yeah like seeing all the stormtroopers armors kind of like put together like that i thought was a really in- interesting visual it's called kintsugi yeah and did you i oh, know i found it really distracting i love the design though you know that head stormtrooper who's got like the humanoid mask yeah but it looks like the bafta reward yeah it does yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> or it also it looks a bit like i don't know it looks like his head got microwaved and it splattered <laughs> into the visor like it got too big and it might have. It sw- maybe he went into space and his head swelled up <laughs> yeah they can't take his helmet off no, now they definitely can't yeah mm. Here's something I didn't really love. Okay. I thought the New Republic stuff was pretty standard, especially mm. after, uh, like, Andor. Because, you know, like, yeah. Mon Mothma's here, and I like Hera, you yeah. know, but it's just like, Thrawn's coming back, and they're like, well, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> well, he is. Yeah. Well, I think you're all rude. I think we should not prepare in any way. Yeah, and then C-3PO's like, I'm a cameo. Mm. I oh, like yeah, of that, course. I guess. That's right, yeah. How did you feel about Grand Admiral Thrawn? Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that. As played by Chad Mickelson. Yeah, he, look, I like him, and I like the voice, and yeah. I think... You like the, it a voice? I like it a voice. What was first just a dream has become a frightening reality for those who may oppose us. I saw people being like, he's too old. It's like, yeah, he's like, he would be 70. Like, he would at this yeah, age right. or whatever. But, and I had the same problem with Rebels, and I'm sure there'd be ways people who disagree with me, how is he any different than any other mildly competent... Because he's very competent. No, he's not. He's got no James. He's got a million backup plans, and any time they tried to do anything, that was his plan all along. Yeah, he was like, "Well, this is good, actually." Yeah, that's right. It's good. That's that it. it. It's good that a Jedi got on your ship. Yeah, the way he's better is that the story says he's better. Yes, that's how it is. You're quite right. Yeah, and I think we will see that in mm-hmm. like upcoming battles and whatever. And I mm-hmm. hope we do at least. But it's a lot of like, oh, they're 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 coming close. They're going to get inside the thing. Well, why don't we shoot at them from our big ship? Yeah, that's right. That's. It's good. Why don't we send two TIE fighters after them? Mm. How many do you have? Well, we're managing resources. Yeah, but now's the time, isn't it? You <laughs> That's know? right. Now's kind yeah. of the time before mm. you do the thing where you go yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's literally no other opposition currently <laughs> than these two Jedi and one sort of Jedi. And, or and really, a bunch of, three, three sort yeah, of Jedi. And a turtle and some turtle men or whatever. Some turtle men. <laughs> and re- realistically, you could fly like 100 TIE fighters at them and obliterate them. Yeah. But I guess you are managing resources. Exactly. And that is probably your plan all it's along. It's probably his plan all along. Yeah. But yeah, like I like that he's in league with like the Knight Sisters. Sure. Uh-huh. And that allegiance is clearly like very tenuous mm-hmm. and at the moment very mutually beneficial. Yeah. But often like 
he, his, his floor is, and he's aware of this, that he, he's overconfident and he underestimates people because he thinks he's the smartest in the room. That's how he died originally, and that's he even mentions like he underestimated Ezra, and that's how he fucking ended yeah, up in the Yeah, that's right. He place. thought he was better than Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Where he probably right. never even went to one of their concerts. That's mostly. exactly right. Yeah. Probably doesn't even have any of their CD singles. That's right. Like the song Good. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> um, how, how do you feel about that they were like, oh, my God, we have to go to another galaxy. What's that going to be like? It's kind of the same, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think. Sort of grey. It's a bit, bit grey. I love the idea of, like, doing Star Wars somewhere else hmm. because then it's it's removed from everything. A car everything. park, for example. Yeah, a car park. A bin. <laughs> A stone obelix room, you know, whatever. Right. Yeah, 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 but yeah. um, yeah, it's just pretty much the same, right? Yeah. It's just <laughs> there's a weird thing and some bandits and a, you know, yep. it's like the same. That's right. Some rocks and stuff you can fall off or whatever. <laughs> you know. Some, you know, some big statues. I yeah. get it. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I think there, the like the potential mm. to do an outside the regular universe storytelling, which I think they're they're, they're which they're. I think they're hinting at and they're going to try to move towards. Uh-huh. But I think they then panic and they go, oh, we'll do a Skywalker movie or whatever. Yeah, know? right. We'll do a Ray trilogy or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like the idea of it mm. more than I guess yeah. what we saw here. Now let me ask you this question, James. Mm. Who were the statues of? Oh, I it's know. like the <laughs> – I don't know who they were. The father and the whatever. I don't know. Look, there's okay. a bunch of theories. Yeah. And I didn't read any of them. Okay. Because if they're not going to tell me, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you tell me and, I'll, and then I'll think about do it. Do you think anybody knows? Yeah, I think Dave Filoni has mapped this out. Okay, do yeah. you think, because the, the Thrawn, know. who knows everything, and he's, he's, it's always part of his plan, Yeah, he was like, before we go back to the regular universe, mm. I've just got to put all this stuff on my ship. Yeah. What's in the stuff? Do they know what's in those boxes? Does anybody who made this show know what's in the boxes? I don't know. They I don't probably, think they know. No, they would. What do you think do. it is? I don't know. Crystals? Yeah, Smoke? crystals. Yeah. Zombies? Yeah. Birds? Flat pack TIE fighters? Yep. Like Ikea style? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> wolves? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Do know. Do you either. like all the wolves? Mm. Dave Filoni loves wolves. We've got to manage these resources because if you look on the box, you'll see there's two people yeah. assembling the flat pack TIE fighters. Oh, so, yeah, two people, yeah. You know, yeah, no, and then there's, right. if you don't understand how to assemble the, the flat pack TIE fighter, you call the hotline. Hello? Mm. We won't take your call right now, whatever. Wow. You're in another galaxy. Wow. You bitch. The wow. warranty is expired because you flew to another galaxy. Yeah, I don't think they know what's in the box. I, they know, I think. Uh, well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Yeah. Again, I didn't think about it until now. <laughs> okay. Until you ask me now. Because it would have to be something. It would be resources to make a super weapon probably. Yeah, well, absolutely. But, I mean, I guess it is. Whatever that. It could be a magic one or a laser. I don't know. Yeah. Because it has to be something that isn't in the regular galaxy. It could be the they... anti-Jedi thing. You know, in the in the story, the original Thrawn. No. There's like a creature that he wears which cancels out the force. Oh, right. It might be something related to that. Is that him or Shizor? No, he has one too. Shizor doesn't the have green that guy. Mason. Shizor has pheromones so the ladies oh, love Oh, yeah, him. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can be sexy. What did they – so when the Night Sisters made the special sword, yeah, did they need something for it or did they just use their magic? Uh, it's from – they had it. It's from a different thing apparently. Okay, right. It's like a magical sword. Okay. But now uh, Ahsoka has magic sword. That's true. That's pretty sweet. Well, maybe I, – I was like, well, maybe it's – maybe you can make a big version of that. A big sword. That's what all the boxes were. A big galaxy sweeping a sword. A big, big galaxy sweeping sword. Flat packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one thing that I know people criticize and it's fun to talk about. When Ezra, he escapes and uh-huh. he takes the, the Imperial ship and he lands at the Rebels, well, yep. the New Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets out of the ship in full Stormtrooper regalia. And they don't shoot him? And they don't shoot him immediately. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what, I mean, the reveal could have been done that he's in the armor. Yeah. And he walks down, but he's not wearing the helmet. Yeah, of So course. they get ready because he's walking down and they see the armor and then he's not wearing yeah, the helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you could have done it like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's also not surprising to us, the audience, because we're yeah, not like, we know. that stormtrooper's got all the way into the rebels. He's going to kill them all. Yeah, exactly. Who's, oh, it's Ezra. It's all right. Yeah. Also, like, in a previous episode to what they thought were Jedi, or they're like, okay, let's let the Jedi land, came in and killed everybody. So presumably they'd be on a high alert for something yeah. like this happening uh-huh. again. Their bosses are sent a memo around, listen, yeah. if someone who's obviously a bad guy comes in, what do we do? Get him a cup of tea? No, <laughs> we shoot them. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But again, all in all, like I think it got better. I think there were some throwbacks that people clearly enjoyed. Mary uh, Elizabeth Winstead didn't have a lot to do. No, did she? I think that'll be some season two yeah. stuff. <laughs> chop it, it wasn't it that much. No, that's but, true. Um, My yeah, favorite, it, chop, yeah. chop. But a lot of people like. I know there are a lot of people that did not like this, but there are a lot of people who are like, this is 100% my jam. Mm. Like this kind of Star Wars, yeah, yeah, this yeah. era, these characters. Call me the beekeeper because this the is beekeeper. precisely my jam. <laughs> what? My jar of jam. My jar of jam. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Got a review from Jonathan who says, I've wa- I've not watched Ahsoka, but do you think this era – it's not a review, I guess. <laughs> I've okay, not watched right. it. It's an anti-review. <laughs> yeah, but do you think this era of recognize a thing media will ever end? Or are we just are we just in this pandering to forty year old nerds forever now? But yes, I'm thirty eight. Also, Andor was good, but it's well, an the forty year old nerds have to die eventually. Don't yeah, they? exactly. Yeah. It'll become another thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always it's never been more prevalent because there's never been so much media. That's true. But this has been happening forever. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just there's more of it now. But uh, no, I don't think it's oh, you know, okay. Not as long as people it keeps making money. No. But again, we've talked about how like if something shows up, yes. people don't like it. But yes. then it shows up a second time, and then people are like, "Oh, I love this because it yeah. was in the previous." Thing. Yeah, I look. I kind of, I kind of feel like, perhaps in the media landscape overall, yeah, the recognize the thing and thing will drop off because eventually, like the box office will drop off. Mm. But with something like this, I think maybe Star Wars is its own separate ecosystem yeah. where it is exactly the thing you said, <laughs> which is like. <laughs> You just you just replace you put in a new thing and people hate it and then the next time you see it people love it. Yeah, there's a critical reappraisal just constantly, just by showing up. And it's I like think, it's like joke repetition. You know, yeah. it's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes a running gag. Becomes after a, a while. running gag. Yeah. Well, we don't do those, but no. some people do. That's right. Yeah. Anything else? Um. No. Let's move it along. Okay, I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought it was okay. But some people are going to be like, "That's unacceptable," but that you think it's okay. <laughs> I mean, okay in the sense that there was. Some, I'd rather be doing something else, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I thought you. there were some good tense moments, especially in the last episode. I'm not going to say what specifically because yeah. people will be like, oh, that was actually the worst bit. <laughs> I'll tell you this. If I wasn't doing this, do if I wasn't forced to do this, I would have watched something else probably. Yeah. Uh, because if, that was seven hours of my life. Yeah. Uh, but uh, look. And th- this is your problem though. Yeah. You should have been watching week to week, Mason. I should have been. You should have been doing your homework. Yeah, I you guess. crammed the night yeah, before. Yeah, that I did. Yeah, I crammed today. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we move it along? Yes. To what? We're reading what we're going to read. Very good. Yes. Yes. 